Before beginning CPDLC operations, pilots must log on to an air traffic service center. This can be compared to tuning to an ATC frequency and checking in with a controller when using voice communications. This video describes the process of logging on to an air traffic service center using FAN's CPDLC. It also describes ATC handoffs. Instead of a radio frequency, air traffic service centers that use CPDLC are assigned a four-letter logon identifier. The logon ID can be found on an en route chart. The chart also tells pilots what data link services are offered by the ATSC. When the aircraft is outside CPDLC airspace, pilots should initiate the logon 10 to 25 minutes before entering the airspace. If taking off close to or into CPDLC airspace, initiate the logon prior to departure. To log on to an ATC center, access the ATC logon status page. Push next to access page 2. Verify that ATCCOM and ADS are armed. Go back to page 1 and verify that the aircraft identification and flight plan information match the filed flight plan exactly. If any of the fields don't match the filed flight plan, the logon will not be successful. In this case, contact ATC or AOC to resolve the difference. Enter the logon ID for the air traffic service center you'll be entering and push send. Once the logon is accepted, you are logged on to the CPDLC network. However, a CPDLC connection is not established until the center identifier is shown in the active center field. This will be the case if you initiated the logon while on the ground. The CPDLC connection will not be established until airborne and upon entering the intended air traffic control center airspace. Once a CPDLC connection is established, the message ATC COM established will be shown in the scratch pad. You may also get an uplink message confirming the CPDLC connection. Messages sent to the aircraft from an air traffic control center are called uplink messages. Conversely, messages sent from the aircraft to the air traffic control center are called downlink messages. When a new uplink message is sent, it is displayed when the ATC COM pages are accessed. Messages can be multiple pages long. A message is considered an open message until a response is sent. In this case, accept the message by selecting Accept. The Verify Response page allows the pilot to review a downlink prior to sending it. Under normal circumstances, when entering a new ATSC airspace, the controlling ATSC will automatically transfer the aircraft to the next controlling ATSC, and the flight crew should not need to initiate another logon. In addition, when entering a new airspace, check the local requirements regarding HF or VHF voice check-in procedures, position reports, and the use of ADSC. In this example, the current ATSC will automatically transfer the CPDLC connection to the next center, which is London. However, this uplink instructs the flight crew to contact London Control by voice, as well as upon reaching the Coleg waypoint. When an automatic transfer occurs, the message ATC COM established is shown. Access the logon status page to verify that the new center is the active center. In this example, London Control is the new active center. If the next center in the flight plan route is CPDLC capable, the center identifier is shown in the Next Center field. A CPDLC uplink or downlink that has not been resolved is considered an open message. Open messages are not transferred to the new center, so make sure that all messages are closed before changing to the new center. This video described the process of logging on to an air traffic service center using CPDLC. In the next video, we'll demonstrate how to send and receive various CPDLC messages.